hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm kendall b if you're new here and today as you can see from the title we are talking about everything that you're seeing in the news that you're talking about at work at school the coronavirus the coronavirus okay <laughs> At this point, I'm just about tired of this whole coronavirus thing, freaking myself out. I'm currently getting two tires fixed on my car, an alignment and a rotation. So if you guys hear that in the background, sorry. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what is going on right now in the United States. Um, as of right now, I am out of work for I think a week possibly two weeks and my college is also closed for two weeks um, you know I was dumb excited this happened yesterday I was actually like out getting drinks because I just knew that my college was gonna close so when I got that news I was like ecstatic so yeah there's no school for me for two weeks and I'm excited but this corona thing is getting serious it is real and I first got this information about this whole coronavirus thing it was like so far-fetched because I'm not in China I don't live in China so it didn't really apply to me you know I, it is sad it's unfortunate but it didn't apply to me but it is now in Georgia and now it's in my county and now it's like places that I've been to and it's just crazy because everybody is just out here trying to survive and trying to understand what's really going on i'm gonna show you guys a few clips but people are like stocking up on everything on tissue paper specifically i'm not sure what the tissue paper thing is about but like the shelves are bare but yeah i went into the grocery store today trying to call myself stocking up but i don't really know how to stock up like i'm not a mom i don't have a house like what you what do i stock up with so here's a clip of me trying to stock up and what the grocery stores are currently looking like in atlanta georgia uh, Damn! Damn! everything is fair <laughs> i got me some spring mix I'm trying to find some hand sanitizer and lysol but um everything's wiped out like people are i don't know i don't know if i can say people are going crazy because maybe this is real <laughs> i don't know y'all this is all i have right now some hot chips and some kale i don't know what to do but yeah this is just 100 percent nuts i don't know what do y'all think about this i mean everybody in the world is probably experiencing this right now because this is like a worldwide problem like it's getting everywhere i don't know if anybody's safe right now but i don't know if this is like a government thing where this is like a man-made virus that's my idea of it i don't know if they're trying to force people to get a coronavirus vaccine i'm not sure i'm not sure what the motive is behind this i don't know how long this is going to go on but hopefully I don't know, you know, I, I get a little excited because I think I, I ain't got to work, I ain't got to go to school, but hopefully it dies down soon. Um, yeah, this is what's going on in 2020 of March and possibly April. But yeah, today I'm going to give you guys my natural remedies that are protecting me and are keeping my immune system boosted up so you guys can be, you know, <laughs> nice and immune with me, you know, nice and immune system boosted up with me you know i want to give you guys whatever health tips i have so that you guys can stay healthy during this crazy world you know i don't know what is going on right now dealing with sick kids every day you know different type of sicknesses pink eye things like that so i try and keep my immune system boosted up most people as teachers and people that are around a lot of people on a daily basis i feel like this will be super helpful for you because it's a lot going on right now. So first off, um, my voice is sounding a little different. I'm not sure what's going on with me, but I know one of my kids have like strep throat right now. I know another one of my kids have fever. They have coughs. Like I just don't know what's wrong with me. 
hopefully this nothing's wrong with me but um i do want to say the number one thing that i would suggest during this time is staying away from dairy okay and i know that sounds like very cliche like oh i'm on a dairy free diet and things like that but honestly dairy is the number one thing that makes me get sick and makes me get cold make me get colds um when it comes to like sugary drinks and drinks that have like what is this 40 and 60 grams of sugar for example let's look at this lemonade tea I love this lemonade tea and I will literally drink like two cups of it and be in heaven but the next day I will be like gawking up mucus I will like have like this mucusy feel in my throat stuffy nose all of this stuff from sugary drinks this is not the only sugary drink there's tons of other sugary drinks Take a look at the drinks that you're drinking and see how many grams of sugar in it and just try and reduce your sugar intake because sugar causes mucus, mucus causes sicknesses and viruses. So I try and stay away from sugary drinks. I try and drink more so lemon water, lime water and water infused with fruit to kind of give myself like a variation. Um, also that doesn't only limit it to sugar, milk. I don't drink milk, but I know a lot of people drink milk, such as like um, a lot of students drink milk on a daily basis. Um, a lot of people drink milk thinking that they need calcium and things, but one word, all I have to say is like <laughs> mucus. That as long as yogurt. I bought this big old thing of yogurt because I love adding, here it is right here. I bought this big old thing of Chobani yogurt because I love adding yogurt into my smoothies. Like it makes it nice and thick. It makes it the perfect consistency and it's just great. So um, I think it was Monday. I added like three or four scoops of this yogurt into my smoothie and I had like a huge cup of, I like filled this cup up with like half, like this much yogurt. And the next day I had like mucus in my throat, I had a stuffy nose, I had like a slight cough, and I know it was nothing but this and my decision of drinking juice, a lot of juice that day. So honestly right now, you just wanna stay in the clear zone. That does happen and if you are dealing with like mucus type things, number one thing you need to get rid of is the inflammation, okay? Inflammation is what's making all this mucus and stuff like that apple cider vinegar will be your best friend this stuff is disgusting it's really nasty but if you take a tablespoon of it it literally cleans your body out of all the toxins and bacteria it's disgusting but it it really works it's so nasty i can't even take this okay so i'm gonna take this it stinks it really stinks it smells like feet but honey, it's disgusting. You can add like some ginger, some honey, and some lemon onto a spoon. And ginger is amazing. Like ginger is like the all purpose natural remedy because it gets rid of anti-inflammatory things inside of your body. And it also contains like super amazing properties that medicines have in it, but just with like a natural approach to it. So have you some ginger in, and some garlic in your refrigerator at all times because garlic oh my god now we're about to get on to my favorite these are the less nasty ones that i've been taking for the for the past week i've been taking this elderberry syrup here it is right here this is uh this is organic yeah of course it's organic it's an organic elderberry syrup and i would highly suggest trying to get your vitamins and supplements like that from like places like sprouts or just making sure that they're organic and don't have all these different added things into the in, into the vitamins but this elderberry syrup is the truth you take one teaspoon of it this is what it looks like and you just take it okay it's not the worst and it kind of has like a berry taste to it but this is said to be like a superior immune boost and you're supposed to take like two hours as needed but i just take it once a day and it still does the job it has apple cider vinegar in it elderberry of course but 
and it has honey in it so i would suggest you guys try out some elderberry syrup i've heard a lot of good things about it i've seen a lot of people say they use it and it knocks any sickness out so yes we knock in the sicknesses out so, turmeric is my next thing that i would say that would definitely help okay and make some hot water and i'm going to use about like two tablespoons two teaspoons of turmeric powder Be careful with turmeric, it will stain your clothes, it will stain your teeth, but turmeric powder is really, really good. It looks like, see? And you can add in some honey and some lemon to make it taste a little bit better. But honestly, I don't drink the whole thing and I still feel the um, benefits of this. Let's taste it. It's not the best tasting. I'm, I'm not promising you guys that this is gonna taste good and this is gonna be enjoyable, but it does work. Like when my mom used to tell me this stuff, I used to be like, she just saying stuff to be a mom. Like, I don't wanna hear that. She's trying to be healthy and stuff. But actually, <laughs> this stuff works when you're going through it and you need a solution fast and effective, okay? The real way, the natural way, that's how. Mm -mm -mm. lastly which i feel like everybody should take these every day because you never know you just want to stay in the safe zone but this is of course vitamin c this is a thousand milligrams can you see yeah so this is a thousand milligrams that's basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it drop a comment below if you guys have any other natural remedies that you guys want to share with me or anybody else and let me know what you guys think about this whole coronavirus thing. Do you think it's real? Is it gonna end soon? Like, I really don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.